Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is Tuesday of June, and being Tuesday in week nine, in the night time of the church calendar year A, year one. Today, the mother church celebrates St. Norbert. He's a bishop. Our readings will be coming from First Toby chapter 2, verse 9 to 14. From the book of Toby, chapter 2, verse 9 to 14. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 112, verse 7b. A gospel message will come from my gospel, chapter 12, verse 13 to 17. The theme of our message today is render to God what is God. Render to God things that are of God. Render to God things that are of God. Today, you can see Jesus facing people wanted to put him to test. And now why they confronted him. By some Pharisees and they don't... Herodians, they came to him and asked him. They, met, they asked him this question with intention to entrap him. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are, you are true. Care for no man, for you do not regard the position of man, but truly to the word of God. They started flattering him. They then ask him, is it lawful to pay tax to Caesar or not? Is it lawful to pay tax to Caesar or not? There is no way Jesus will answer the question by the question, if you say not to pay to Caesar, you become a rebel, you will be arrested. If you say you should pay to Caesar, you say you are collaborating with the people who colonize them. And Jesus, in his wisdom, Knowing they are hypocrites, then say, bring the coin. Let me see. They brought the coin and showed him. He said, whose head is on this coin? They say, it's of Caesar. He said, give to Caesar what, that of, what, give to Caesar what is of Caesar. And give to God what is of God. Mm -hmm. Give to Caesar what is of Caesar. And give to God what is of God. Things that are of God. And that really put them off. They, they, they again failed them because he gave them an answer they never bargained for, they were never expected. Yes, show me the money, and they showed him the money. What well, Caesar said, hey, give to Caesar things that are Caesar, and give to God things that are God. This is the quotation many people quote to justify their hypocrisism or neo paganism. I say, give to the idols what is idols, and give to God what is God. Who told you that? It's not true. And now why you can see what are those things that are of God? What are those things of God, including Caesar? Including everything on earth, created by God himself, that are things of God. Including you. You are things of God. So what you give to God is yourself, even. You give to God Caesar himself. If you not think that of Caesar, give it to Caesar. Conspirated by Caesar, give it to him. Yes, he didn't tell them not to pay tax, neither did he tell them to pay tax. Give to Caesar things that of Caesar, and to God things that of God. Simple. They were put to shame. And now I have shown us the way we should go about rendering to God things that are of God and rendering to Caesar what are things that are of Caesar. That's why today you can see 
in the, in the first reading, the book of Tobit, you can see how Tobit, after burying the dead, a work of, corporal work of mercy he did, and came to sit by the wall of his fence with face upwards, not covering his face. He didn't know the asparagus are there, and they are hot. They are hot disposers enter his eyes. They are hot sheets enter the eyes of Tobit. And set a white flame on his eyes. And he went to physicians. The more they treat the, the eyes, the more it gets worse. And they finally burned blind completely. Somebody helped him for two years. And after that, the wife was struggling to make sure he keep, he keep the house without him. And upon that, Tobit was still looking upon God, depending upon or calling upon God. And the wife was doing everything possible to sustain the family. As she does weavings and send the weaving to people, weave for people and send them and they pay her wages. And there was a time to show you that even in face of difficulties, you don't need to give up things that have got to Satan. In face of difficulties. So one day the wife came back home with a kid, and the kid was crying, and Toby called the wife, said, from where do you get this kid? Return it to, it's all good to eat certain things. And the wife said, somebody I, I wait for gave me all my wages, and they equally gave me this kid. And uh, Toby wasn't happy, very wonderful about it, he wasn't so happy about it. He was still saying, return it, return it to the owner. And the woman said, where is your charity? She you know everything. Where is your charity and go see this? You have been doing good deeds to people. Then people cannot do good deeds to you. Do you see? So the, Toby was telling the wife, if you know what is not of God, don't give it to God. If you have stolen the kid, return it. So, return it to the owner. But if it's a gift from God, you accept it. Telling you that everything belongs to God and is only God. Nothing can make you in this life to change your position in standing by the side of God in everything. You can't just because of difficulties is go against God. No, you don't do that. That's why it's really by this inducting people who are corrupt, people who extort money from people. In fact, because things are difficult for them, or one reason or the other, you are start because they are corrupt. You steal money, you do many other things. You're not just fine. Nothing should separate you from the love of God. Paul will tell us in Romans 8, 35 to 37, nothing should separate us from the love of God. Hunger, persecution, nothing should separate you from the love of God. And that's why if you know that you are safe is product is of things of God, you should remain first faithful to God. And not because of material things, deny God. That's why I say, render to God things that are God, and to Caesar what things are Caesar. So don't do anything outside this. Everything belongs to God, and God is the only one we should pay homage. That's the only one we glorify. That's the only one we listen to. That's the only one we follow. So that's why I say, render to God things that are God. And we have to render to God things that are God, including ourselves and everything we have, including Caesar and even what Caesar have. So God is the ultimate of everything. That's why he rendered to him things that are of God. And everything belongs to God. Heaven and earth were created by him. And everything on earth was put in place by him. So that things of God. And failing to lend that things of God to God means you are worshiping idol. You have another God. And that when the psalmist who understood this message so well today, he said, look at what the psalmist said. With a firm heart, the just man trusts in the Lord. With a firm heart, the just man trusts in God. With a firm heart, he's not shaking. Nothing will shake him. And you can see the finger with which to be trusting God, even in face of difficulties. 
You can see the friend who with the wife remain faithful and loyal in face of scarcity. And now what he's telling you, as far as God is concerned, we must render to God things that are God, including ourselves, our thoughts and our words and our actions. So very hard, a just man trusts in the Lord. Yes. And now why today we are celebrating said no bad. No bad. Born in Germany, or living a, a last school life, a life of indiscipline, until he get to the age of 30, was dramatically converted to God, became a Christian. I was telling them, when you live your old way of life and the break Christian way of life, that's what you call conversion. And he was converted. And when he was converted, he started doing penance. Started doing penance, regretting his past life. And eventually he was ordained a priest. And when he was ordained a priest, he spent the greater part of the time helping priests to be faithful to their faith and advancing holiness. He thought what he was doing. And eventually he set up a foundation, a congregation, to continue his ministry called the promonstrant tenures. You can see a man who was not in God before, lendering to God things that are not, taking away things that are of God and lendering to something else. When he got converted, he lenders everything to God, including his thoughts, his word, and his actions. Everything rendered for God. And that's what we should do. Render everything to God that belongs to God including yourself and everything around you. And God help us understand today, today, the need for us to render to God things of God and to render to Caesar things of Caesar and not compromise it. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us as we render what are things of God to God and God alone, no more the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.